Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover the Rel8 Beta Cockpit Web Console that is now compatible with mobile browsers. What I'll be showing in this video is an actual screen capture from a mobile device. To use this functionality, you need to enable Cockpit on the Rel8 Beta system and have access to port 9090 of the Rel8 Beta system from your mobile phone, which might require that you use a VPN into your network. Once you've connected to port 9090 on your Rel8 Beta system and logged in, you'll be at the overview screen where you can see an overview of performance metrics like CPU, memory, etc. And from this main page here, you can also shut down or restart the RHEL 8 beta system. Next, we'll press the menu in the lower left-hand corner here and go to the log section. From here, we can change the severity to filter what logs we want to see. And if we click on a log, we can see the details. If we go back to the menu and go to storage, from here we can see an overview of the file systems on the system, as well as storage logs and other storage information. If we want to expand a file system, we can click on the name here. This will take us to the volume group details. Notice our volume group is 73.9 gig. I'm going to click on the plus sign to add some additional disk into this volume group. I'll put the checks next to the disk I want to add and go ahead and click the add button. And you'll notice our volume group has expanded to 104 gig with the addition of those drives. Next, we can select the log logical volume for the root file system and click grow. And then we can either slide the slider over here or type in a new value and then go ahead and click Grow, and we've just resized that logical volume for the root file system. If we go to Networking, we can see uh, information on the interfaces, and if we click here, we could um, change the details like the IP address of this interface. And if we go back to the Networking menu here and then click on Firewall, we can manage the firewall in the system. We'll click Add Services, and we're going to scroll down and select the LDAP, and LDAP S uh, services and click add services and we've just added those into our firewall configuration. Next we'll go to virtual machines and from here you can manage virtual machines that are running on this Rel8 beta system. Next we'll go to accounts and we'll click on a, an existing account and from here you can do things like change the password for the account if you wanted to or you can go back and create a new account if you needed any new account on the system. Next, we'll look at services. From here, we'll scroll down and find the OpenSSH server. And from here, we can do things like uh, stop the OpenSSH server or, or start it. And we could also do things like disable OpenSSH. And these commands are equivalent from running the comparable systemctl commands from the command line. We'll go ahead and re-enable OpenSSH so that it starts on boot. And if we scroll down, you can see the details here. And we can also change to a, a landscape mode here and see more details in the logs there. All right, next we'll, we'll go back to the menu in the lower left, and then we'll click on Applications. From here, this shows you what additional cockpit-related applications have been enabled. Next, we'll go to Session Recording. And from here, we can actually view previously recorded sessions and if we click on a session and then go down and click on the play button, we can actually watch the session being uh, replayed here. And if you want more details on session recording, I have a separate video that covers how to set that up. All right, next we'll go down to the SE Linux option here. And from here we can toggle SE Linux uh, on or off for the enforce policy. And we can also click on a access control error and view the details. We also have the option here to apply a solution to relabel the file if appropriate. Next, we'll click on software updates. Uh, normally, you would see a list of available updates here. However, this system is not currently registered, so it's not going to show that. And then the last option we'll show here is the terminal, and this allows you to run commands from a command line interface. In this example, we'll go ahead and run the df command. Managing a Rel8 beta server from your mobile device could be useful in on-call situations or other times that you're mobile. I hope you get a chance to try out Rel8 Beta and the Cockpit Web Console. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great day today.